Researchers at Cambridge University warn of a new way that AI is being used in industry. If left unchecked, it could result in manipulation on an industrial scale. It can collect minute amounts of data and use it against you. It's not just about shopping patterns, and we'll talk about it. Companies have been collecting data on you for a very long time. It started with just your search history, your demographic, or maybe what you purchased in the past. You may avoid ads most of the time, but every once in a while, you click on it. AI can collect the data, even the type of advertisement, the art that was used in it, and use that to manipulate you in the future. With AI bots and peers, they can look at what kind of words will actually get you to interact with it. We do know that most people get their morals, their behaviors, and what they value from their peers, and people also consider bots to be a peer. You could have personalized ads. It could even be for the very same product, but could be personalized and pop up on your screen based on what you are likely to click on. You can forget getting those emails trying to fish information. It's going to be based on what you are likely to respond to. As you are talking to your own personal LLM, the one that you like best, that information could be sold. Even social LLMs can collect the same data and use it to understand what you find persuasive. I sometimes use OpenAI to help me figure out how to connect two paragraphs together, or how could I reword this? The kind of language that I'm likely to respond to, rather than just closing down the app. This information could even be collected with human interactions online. All this can be used to manipulate you. It can be used to manipulate not just what you want to purchase. It can figure out what you want to want, the kind of person not that you are, but you want to be. Experts have warned that it could be used as a political tool as well. We know that 50% of all web traffic is just bots. And more than 50% of all text available online right now is generated in some way or form by AI. How many people have you really interacted with today, and are you sure about that? In more mundane ways, industry can use this not to just react to trends, but create them, tell you what you want. More recently in history, fashion trends, for example, have been built by individuals and then they've trickled up into the rest of society. Things became popular after individuals created it. But you could be lied to about what individuals have come up with, and campaigns could be made to influence consumer preferences. As long as you believe your peers want this and are wearing this, you too will be influenced to get it. And that's just human psychology, and companies know that. Right now, there are virtually no protections to keep this kind of thing from happening, and it is happening rapidly. There is a real reason for those spooky ads that you get after you just talked about something. Imagine knowing a user base so well that you might know what somebody is likely to talk about based on their location and who they're with. It could even be based on what you purchased last time after you met up with that person because they're being tracked too, and your phone knows it. So I have a question for you. What do you want? Eukaryotic cells are more complex than the tiny prokaryotes swarming in the culture. 